What is up guys? I'm out here at the beautiful Cedar Hill State Park tonight and you might be wondering why I'm out here at Cedar Hill State Park at night when it's getting dark. Well, that's because if you remember the Christmas light antenna that I made a few videos ago on this channel, I actually built that Christmas light antenna with the intention of doing a POTA activation on it. So basically I brought the Christmas light antenna out. I strung it up in the tree back there behind me and I'm gonna to try to make some POTA contacts on it, see if I can successfully do an activation out here. I think this is gonna be really fun. It's gonna be really interesting. I think it's very unique. I haven't seen anybody else do a Christmas light POTA, so I thought I would try one myself. So I've actually made some changes to the dipole since the last video. If you remember the first video about the Christmas light antenna, you remember it had three wires. Well, I was doing some talking with some people, uh, and particularly Josh from Ham Radio Crash Course in his Discord channel, how to make the lights brighter on the dipole. And I mentioned, and I hadn't cut off the other two wires on each leg and he was basically saying that all my power was basically getting eaten up by the other two wires on each leg and that's why the lights were dim so I cut off the extra two wires on each leg of the dipole and it actually lights up much brighter now. I'm gonna to try to make some sideband contacts. There's no guarantee of that because last night when I was testing it, for some reason, my tuner didn't want to tune sideband on this antenna, so um, I ended up having to use FT8. I'm gonna try sideband anyway tonight, so we'll see what I can make contacts wise tonight. I think this is gonna be a really fun activation. It's very unique for me. I've never done anything like this. As soon as it gets a little bit darker, I'm gonna to try to start making some contacts. Maybe you'll be able to see it in the main camera, but I've also got my second camera set up over there as well off to the side. So hopefully that way you'll actually be able to kind of see what's going on with the dipole. I've got a few more things I gotta do real quick before it gets dark and then we'll come back and I'll start activating. All right, we're all set up. Let's start trying to make some contacts. Start by calling CQ Poda. All right, there we go. I'm actually being heard. I don't know if I'm being spotted anywhere. Check grid tracker. Now I've got spots, it's just nobody's coming back to me. This might end up being a little bit harder than I thought. I like, how, I like how only one side of it's lit up. There we go. Got one guy. K1MCO. Oh, he's got me. Oh. Oh, man. Minus nine into Florida. Woohoo. All right, there's one contact. So I'll probably just do my FT8 first, get my 10 on FT8. Then we'll go try to work some sideband after that. So one down, nine more to go. Minus three into Florida. And I am running 100 watts. <laughs> Can't believe it's only lighting up one side. I also think that's the side that's soldered into it. Maybe I should try soldering the other leg too. I don't know. I don't know if that will work or not. All right, so two down, eight more to go. All right, call CQ again. According to the 929, I'm only putting out 85 watts, so no shocker there that I'm not being hunted as much. This is Zori's station. I don't know that I've worked at Zori's. I think this is one that I've been trying to get at the house and I might actually be getting him now. I'm hearing him plus three on this thing too. And just so you guys know, these Christmas light antennas are not supposed to be like great antennas. They're just kind of, this is just kind of a, just kind of like a test for me. Be cool to get to work this Azora station. Last time he spotted me though was three minutes ago. So I don't know that I'm getting him. It might just be time to call CQ again. because. PSK says three minutes ago. Oh, Roger, Roger, 73. All right, so yeah, I worked Azores on 
this. So that's pretty cool. But so yeah, we got Azores on there. I've never worked Azores, so working DX on this thing, that's pretty cool. All right, there we go, two. All right, so I worked Alpha Foxtrot 7 November Whiskey. That's number five, I think. I don't know, I'm forgetting already. Losing track. This is why I should be logging as I go. So yeah, this antenna is performing surprisingly well right now, actually. Where's that? Chile. I don't know that it worked Chile. Yeah, this thing is surprisingly doing really well. I mean, I'm being spotted, I think. No. Mostly in the United States, but. And off to the uh, Northwest, which I think is actually the way that I'm kind of angled. See if I can get this parked apart. Kilo four Victor Tango. See if I can get him. People probably wonder what this thing is that keeps lighting up and turning off. It's pretty cool though to watch the power kind of go up, or I guess it'd be down the strand. That's pretty cool. Don't know that I'm getting him, so bummer. And I don't see anybody else parked apart right now, so that's also kind of a bummer. All right, here's my six contact. Kilo Delta Six, Sierra Papa November. He's got me at minus 17 and Roger Roger 73. So there's number six. Might actually happen. I might actually successfully activate on a Christmas light antenna. It's kind of exciting. I'm about to switch to 40 because I'm not getting anybody coming back to any of these. Look at my latest PSK. I mean, I'm getting out, but it's only to the west. This thing's very. This thing is definitely very directional. It was kind of that way last night too. Now that I cut those three strands off, it was kind of directional, so I don't know. At least, I don't know. I don't think I was able to get 20 last night. There we go, Canada again, maybe. Maybe Canada, we'll see. Nothing out of this guy again. I don't know that I'm gonna be getting this guy. Yeah, he's not coming back to me. I'm switching to 40. So yeah, this is a 20 meter dipole, but my tuner last night was tuning it. We'll see if it tunes up. There we go, running that tractor. Tuned right up. Three, only three watts reflected, that's not horrible. Call CQ, because I don't want to waste time. I'm also hoping my computer's not gonna die too before I get 10. Because this cold's definitely, this cold's definitely having an effect on it. Dang, I've called CQ three times and nobody's coming back to me. This kind of sucks. And I'm putting out 95 watts. And my SWR is only 1.4. This is proven tougher than I thought. It's so much easier to just use the MFJ. All right, 40's not working. I'm not getting anybody come back to me on 40, so let's try 30. Well, I was kind of hoping that I'd come out here in this Christmas light antenna might put my big stick to shame, but that does not look like it's happening. Big stick's looking like it's gonna remain old faithful for right now. Kilo two, Papa Papa whiskey in New York. Yeah, I think I'm gonna be cutting this close. Definitely think I'm gonna be cutting this close. He has me minus 11. Thank you, sir. I'm working on number eight right now. That's number eight. Two more before we hit 10. All I need is two more. And then maybe we'll try some sideband. There we go, here's number nine. November two, Romeo Zulu Zulu. Let's see if I can get him, he's up in New York as well. There we go, there's number nine. One more, and then we will officially have activated my Christmas light dipole. All right, let's try to get one more. One more, that's all I need, just one more. I'm actually really kind of surprised how well this antenna is doing. I did not really expect it. So 79 watts on 30 meters, reflected 6.7. This wire has a lot more resistance too than like my speaker wire. It's got definitely a lot more resistance to the other ones, so that's kind of a big factor of why these are not great antennas, but hey, it's working for me. I'm doing a POTA activation on it, so that's good enough for me. 
here we go. There's last one. Alpha Echo 8 Juliet Foxtrot. Looks like he might be my last contact for successful activation. Minus 10 into Michigan. There we go. That is how we do it, ladies and gentlemen. 10 contacts right there on the Christmas light dipole antenna. I'm proud of myself for that. Okay, 73. There we go, it's official now. All right, let's try some sideband. Kilo India 5, India Romeo Echo. Kilo India 5, India Romeo Echo. I don't know that I'm gonna be able to tune sideband. Kilo India 5, India Romeo Echo. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do sideband. Just want tune. I'm only showing 2.4 watts out too, so there's, I don't know. All right, he can't hear me, so I'm gonna to try to call CQ. Sounds like 268 might be open. Is this frequency in use? Is this frequency in use? Is this frequency in use? Kilo India 5, India Romeo Echo, is this frequency in use? Yeah, I just want tune on sideband. See if I turn it down to like, five watts if I can tune. Is this frequency in use? Is this frequency in use? Is this frequency in use? Kilo India 5, India Romeo Echo. Nothing, it won't even tune at 10. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, CQ Poda. Kilo India 5, India Romeo Echo calling CQ for parts on the air. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, CQ Poda. Kilo India 5, India Romeo Echo calling CQ for parts on the air, QRZ. Show him 1.9 watts out. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, CQ Poda, Kilo, India 5, India Romeo Echo calling CQ for parks on the air from Park Kilo 2996 in Texas. QRZ. Still two watts. Yeah, I guess sideband's just not gonna work. At least I wanna look at it when I call CQ. Kilo India 5, India Romeo Echo calling CQ for Parks on the Air. Kilo India 5, India Romeo Echo calling CQ for Parks on the Air from Park Kilo 2996 in North Texas, QRZ. That's cool. I mean, it doesn't show it on getting out, but it's lighting up clear as day. That's pretty cool. Even if nobody can hear me, this is still pretty cool to see my voice going through that. That is awesome, dude. So, there you go. I tried SSB on the Christmas light dipole. It doesn't really work. Only putting out maybe five watts max when I'm transmitting at 100, so yeah. That's according to the tuner, only putting out five watts, so that kind of sucks. Um, looks like SSB is a no-go. Nobody can hear me, but SSB is definitely pretty cool. Um, on the Christmas light antenna because you can actually see it light up the antenna when you talk. So that's really, really cool. So I actually managed to make 13 contacts tonight on the Christmas light dipole antenna. Um, unfortunately, I was not able to make any sideband contacts on the antenna. It just won't tune up or whatever and there's no power output. It's pretty cool that at least I can see the, when I talk into the microphone, it will you know, you can see like when you talk each word, you can see it visualized on the dipole. So that's super cool. But other than that, aside from it being cool, I can't talk on it. Um, nobody can hear me and it's putting out, the tuner shows about five watts. So, so who actually knows how much power is really actually being put out through the antenna. But overall, I'm actually really surprised with how the antenna performed. Again, this is not supposed to be a good antenna. This is just supposed to be a fun antenna. This was just a fun project that I made. Uh, like I said, I made the Christmas lights dipole simply because I wanted to try to do a POTA activation with it just because I thought it'd be cool. I wanted to see what it'd be like to um, run FT8 on it, run sideband on it. FT8, it works great. Again, this project was super fun. It was super fun to build this antenna 
And then this activation was super fun. I did not honestly know what to expect coming into the project, how it was gonna perform. And then I made some changes to it after the build and test in the last video that I did on this antenna. Cut out those two extra wires and it just made it a much better antenna. Like you saw behind me, it was so much brighter after I cut out those two extra strands. So shout out to Josh, Ham Radio Crash Course for pointing me in the right direction of how to make my lights actually show because it would have been a lot more boring if they were still as dim as they were in the last video. Both Josh and Modern Ham's videos on the Christmas lights antenna is really where I kind of got the idea for this. I didn't see any other dipole, so I decided I was gonna make the dipole just because I haven't seen a lot of them. I've seen a lot more NFEDs um, done for this kind of application of the Christmas lights antenna, but I just felt like the dipole was kind of unique and it's just kind of also what I had. I didn't really have any 49 to one transformers laying around. The 49 to one that I have is now up on my roof, so didn't have any 49 to one. So dipole, next best thing, was able to just disassemble my old six meter and now it's the Christmas light dipole. Again, this was a super fun project. I had a ton of fun building this, testing it, and now poda the Christmas light dipole. Super, super fun build, and maybe I'll do another Christmas lights antenna next year. Maybe I will try to figure out how to either make this one better. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Should I do another Christmas lights antenna next year, and what do you think about this one? How do you think it performed? just judging off of what you saw in this video and my last one. Thank you guys so much for watching again as always. And if you have not already, make sure to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Those just help out the channel and help the video reach more people. And if you have not also already, make sure to hit that notification bell so you get notified when I upload new videos. So yeah, I'm gonna get packed up and I'm gonna get out of this cold because I'm a Texan and I'm not used to the cold. So I'm gonna go get warmed up as soon as I get packed up. And until next time, guys, 73.